So August 22nd, 2023, one of the biggest changes in world history happens. It's when the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, South, South Africa, now Saudi Arabia, and possibly Mexico and Japan will join the BRICS. So do you guys have anything to say about that? Hello, 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 Robert Kiyosaki, The Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. And today it's bad news about the US effing dollar. It's toast. And for those of you who have followed Rich Dad, I mean, for much of my life, I never trusted US money. In 1964, I was 17 years old. I held up a US quarter. It had copper tinge around it. I said, que pasa? Why is a silver coin copper? Then I looked at the dime, it was copper. Looked at a half dollar, it was copper. So 1964 was a year the US started screwing the world by pumping out fake money. In 1964, the United States of America, God bless America, and I fought for America twice, U.S. Marine, the U.S. dollar became fake. It was called Gresham's Law. And when you violate Gresham's Law, what Gresham's Law says, when fake money enters a system, real money goes into hiding. So in 1964, I'm 17 years old, I learned, you know, we learned nothing about money at school. But there's something intuitive that a human being knows what's real and what's fake. So I looked at these silver dollars and silver coins. I would immediately I'd go, I'd hitchhike from, you know, I grew up in Hilo, Hawaii. I'd hitchhike up to the country club. I'd carry one bag for nine holes for a buck. If I carry two, I got two, you know, math wasn't hard. Two bucks for nine holes. And then four bucks for 18, carry two bucks. And I'd run back to my bank, first Hawaiian bank at the time or Bishop Bank back then, I would trade in my dollars and I'd trade them in for rolls of silver dimes, quarters, and half dollars. And I would look for any coin that had a copper tinge on it and I'd push them off to the side and I shipped it back to the bank and got real coins from them. It was Gresham's Law. So that was 1964, by the time 65 came along, I got appointment to the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy in New York. I put all my silver coins in this big bag and I went to school in New York. When I came home, mommy found my coins and spent it, which proved my point because my that was my poor mom. I got to my rich dad and he says, the reason poor people are poor is because they don't know real money from fake money. And that's Gresham's Law. So the United States has been violating Gresham's law since 64, but throughout history, the Chinese did it, the Greeks did it, the Romans did it, the Germans did it. And every time you faked money, Gresham's law, war broke out. Every single time, it's a historical fact. And today we sit at the brink of war between Russia, Ukraine, and all over the world, China, because our money is fake. So with that, that was one of the reasons I started the Rich Dad Company. And the reason we, we have this program today is one of the most important subjects for <clears throat> not so much my generation, because I'm still gold and silver. I own gold mines and I own silver mines. You know, I, I own tons of gold and tons of silver because I'm an entrepreneur. We buy the mines and take them public. Took my last gold mine public, July of 2022. Tons of gold in it in Provo, Utah. But another important subject for the younger generation is crypto, most specifically Bitcoin. And I own Bitcoin. And for the sake of this program, I do not make, Rich Dad makes no recommendations what you should buy or not buy. We're not an investment company. So don't say I said buy Bitcoin or buy gold or buy silver. We don't say that. Rich Dad is an educational company and I want, want people to wake up. But the message out there again is to most people is poor people don't know the difference between fake money. And the biggest fake thing of all is called the US dollar. And there's people out there, oh, I'm saving money, I'm saving money, I'm saving money. Meanwhile, the fricking US government is printing trillions of it. Oh, I'm saving money, I'm saving money, I'm saving money. Poor people are poor because they don't know real money from fake money. This is not a recommendation, it's just a condemnation or a bad our school systems are. 
I would teach people that. And the reason we have such poverty in America is because we have fake money. The gap between rich and poor gets wider and wider every day. So again, we don't make any recommendation what you should do, buy or sell for an education company. Today we have two experts on the subject of Bitcoin specifically or crypto because it's an important subject to understand, especially in today's world of fake money or Gresham's Law, 1964 again. Understand that. 1971, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. I read any of my books in 1972, I was flying in Vietnam and I went, flew behind enemy lines which proved Marine pilots aren't the brightest, but I was looking for gold, real gold. Because in 1972, it was illegal for Americans to own gold. Imagine that, illegal. Imagine that. So 71, Nixon takes the gold stand, dollar off the gold standard and silly people are still saving the dollar. Cash, cash is king. It's stupid, 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 and ignorant. So today we have Charlie Engler and Miguel Munoz. I met them several times before. I know very little about crypto, except that I own 60 Bitcoin. I know nothing beyond that. I bought them at 6,000 each. I wish I had bought more, but 6,000 was it. And the reason I bought it was not because I'm a crypto expert. I'm a trader. I took technical trading. And crypto, when Bitcoin first came out, I think it hit a high of about 20,000, retraced back down to 100 bucks. I said, oh, it's gone. And it kept coming back, kept coming back, and it hit six. I said, I think it's here to stay. So I, I bought 60 Bitcoin at 6,000. I wish I had bought more, but I don't buy, I didn't buy anymore. <clears throat> so welcome to the program, Charlie and Miguel. And tell us, um, let's start with Miguel. What do you guys do specifically? You know, we we run, you know, Cultivate Crypto and Dollar Cost Crypto. That's our brands. And we run you know, Crypto Mindset, which is a crypto education company. Uh, we've been educating people about crypto since 2020. And uh, we've been in the crypto. I personally have been in the crypto space since 2016. Um, we have, I mean, the, not to toot our own horns, but we have like, we, we have the biggest cryptocurrency education course in the world. Uh, we've, we mo primarily teach men in the red pill space, but generally anyone who's willing to listen, we educate them to get them to the point where um, from A to Z, get them from complete beginner to intermediate, and then hopefully over the next couple of years to get them to advance, basically. Um, wait, wait, teach, one of the things that um, a lot of other... We teach women also, but um, yeah. <laughs> it's obviously a very male-dominated space for the most part and stuff. But we do get some red pill. We get women that follow the red pill space as well that also, you know, jump in with us. Charlie, what, what's your background here? What do you, what do, you do? Yeah, yeah. So i um, also co-founder of the Crypto Mindset. Um, one of our goals really that's um, been the biggest thing ever since we've been into crypto. So um is just educating you know people around us about what makes uh, you know the biggest i guess hedge against inflation right and so the thing that we're trying not, to do is it's not really sorry. inflation it's the biggest hedge against criminal money it, well money. that yeah exactly yeah. exactly which is going to zero and so crypto is pretty much the way to um the fastest way to uh go against that in terms of um, saving your money and putting it in something that's going to hold value long term. And the one thing that we noticed in 2017 was a lot of the education or education out there on cryptocurrency was mostly on Twitter, not on YouTube. And a lot of it was people counter trading each other, basically telling each other wrong uh, information, bad information in order to try to make money off of each other. And that's just part of being a very young industry. You have to watch out. There is I would say, you know, 95% of tokens out there are, um, you know, fundamentally not good. Um, and so that's why we, we focus on Bitcoin, focus on Ethereum and other things out here. But um, our main focus is education, getting that information to people because, um, yeah, you know, and navigating. You know, your site is called Crypto Mindset. Correct. It's at CryptoMindset.com. Correct. And that uh, CryptoMindsetCourse.com. And um, yeah, that's where uh, once a quarter uh, we basically do uh, for about two weeks uh, a boot camp intense education course, bringing what Miguel said people from uh, beginner to intermediate to the next level. So again, once again, Rich does not make recommendations what you should buy or sell or hold. 
but I, I enjoy talking to him. I met them at Rollo Tomasi's place in Las Vegas, which was another experience hanging out with Rollo. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's good. And so I like what you guys have to say. Thank you. And there's something else coming up on August 22nd, 2023. August 22nd, 2023. One of the biggest changes in world history is about to happen. It's when the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, South, South Africa, now Saudi Arabia, and possibly Mexico and Japan will join the BRICS. And they're going to get behind a cryptocurrency backed by gold. So do you guys have anything to say about that? Yeah, you have a bunch of different countries right now trying to come out with you know central bank digital currencies. I think back in 2017, you had... Um, I believe it was Argentina. I can't remember 100%, but they had the Petro, which was a oil-backed cryptocurrency, and that one essentially kind of just flopped. So it's what? really – That's good. Yeah. Why, why did it flop? And what, what you guys are listening to, all listen to the Rich Dad Show, you're listening to history in the making as we're alive. Because what happened in 1971, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard, and 74, a guy named Kissinger, I think it was – went to Saudi Arabia and said the dollar will be backed by oil. So the Pentra failed, that was a crypto backed by oil? Yes, exactly. And the main reason why was because um, it was government forced adoption and nobody used it. And <laughs> 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 which, you know, surprise, surprise, right? Um, so, you know, with BRICS, I think this one has a lot more uh, chance for, you know, uh, people gaining traction because um, what it's trying to do is it's trying to make a trustless way for these countries to interact with each other through, like you said, blockchain type technology. Um, what gold backed crypto is more similar to is also similar to a stable coin or a central bank digital currency, which the EU, the IMF, um, uh, working with Korea, Italy, and South Africa, um, or sorry, uh, Korea and Italy only my bad. And, uh, Singapore right now, they're all working with Amazon to try to program central bank digital currencies. So the, those near, you'll have Nurel Rabini say that the central bank digital currency is what's going to make Bitcoin obsolete. And so I think all of these stable coins, central bank digital currencies, uh, stable coins to other commodities like gold and oil, all they're really doing is, OK, for right now, in this point in history, how can we interact with each other in a trustless way across these countries? right, in a way that we can control because we can't control Bitcoin, right? But Bitcoin is really the answer for them. Let me ask you a point blank. Do you guys have any much confidence in what the BRICS are trying to put together? No, okay. not really. No. Good. Good. I personally do not. Why, why, not, why, not. why not? Yeah. Um, mostly because, I mean, if you look at the BRICS nations, excluding because they, they still don't have Japan or Mexico just yet, but if you just look at the BRICS nations, as they are, it's the majority of it's basically right. just China. You, got, you guys are pretty hardcore uh, Bitcoin then. Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah. yeah. Well, so Bitcoin am I. So Ethereum, I'm, I'm, yeah. and again, this is Rich Dad. We make no recommendations. I will tell you what I do, but we don't say that you should do it too. So when we come back, we'll be talking more to Charlie Engler and Miguel Munoz on how the average person, I mean, I don't, I think Bitcoin is 30,000 a unit today and I'm in at six, want to find out how somebody with very little money can get started in Bitcoin. We'll be right back. Robert already warned us, 2023 is going to be the year of lost wealth. After all, Goldman Sachs predicts you'll see zero returns from stocks for the rest of 2023. And investors like you have already made a record number of emergency hardship withdrawals from the 401ks. Now, a stunning survey reveals that over half the Americans making six figures are living paycheck to paycheck, combined with tens of thousands of layoffs in just the last few weeks. It becomes clear that a financial storm is brewing and no Nobody is safe. But if you think brilliant investors like Robert are letting their money waste away in a 60-40 portfolio, think again. For years, Robert and other experts have been investing millions into low correlation assets that can still climb when the stock market flatlines. And according to a recent Citibank report, 
Of the major asset classes, the lowest correlation belongs to art. In fact, experts say just a 5% portfolio allocation to art can both increase returns and lower volatility. Now you can easily get that allocation in your own portfolio without needing millions, thanks to Masterworks, our longtime partner. Their platform lets you invest in shares of paintings by icons like Picasso and Banksy. Every single one of Masterworks' exits to date have delivered positive returns to their investors, with three re recent exits delivering 10, 13, and 35% net returns. No wonder over 700,000 users have invested more than half a billion dollars on Masterworks. Offerings have sold out in minutes, but Rich Dad listeners can skip the waitlist by going to masterworks.art slash richdad. That's masterworks.art slash richdad. See important disclosures at masterworks.com slash cd. Today's show is sponsored by Gold Alliance. If you're concerned about high inflation, looming recession, a troubled banking system, or out-of-control spending in Washington, this is an important message to hear. Because the fact is, during every major crisis in U.S. history, many of those who failed to prepare watched their savings, investments, or retirement funds go down, while many with the foresight to own gold helped preserve their purchasing power. Gold even made some folks richer. Now we're facing several major crises at once, and experts say we may soon face even more economic trouble. So please don't wait. Learn the simple way you can diversify with gold and put yourself on the road to financial peace of mind, even in uncertain times. The new free 2023 Gold Guide from our friends at Gold Alliance can show you how. Just visit www.freegoldguide.com Robert or call 1-800-473-4585. Republican governor and conservative commentator Mike Huckabee says Gold Alliance is the only only gold provider he recommends to his friends and family. Find out why and visit freegoldguide.com slash Robert or call now at 1-800-473-4585. Feeling powerless over current events and your financial future? Financial freedom is your freedom. Robert Kiyosaki is the best-selling author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Over 40 million people have taken Robert's advice. Now it's your turn. Attend Robert's free virtual wealth building event. Claim your free access now at richdadfree.com. Don't wait, access is limited. Go to richdadfree.com. That's richdadfree.com. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. The good news and bad news about money today. We're talking about how the dollar is toast. And may you consider Bitcoin or some kind of crypto. It's, but one more time, as Rich Dad does not make any recommendations, what you should buy, sell, or hold. We t I will tell you what I do, but I don't tell you what you should do. So today we're talking about Bitcoin and what's happening in the world. Again, as I said earlier, one of the biggest changes in world history is happening August 22nd, 2023. The BRICS nation, which stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, Saudi Arabia, are having on August 22nd, 23, having a conference in Johannesburg to bring out their own gold backed currency. Now, what does that mean for the US dollar? The US dollar in 1944 became the reserve currency of the world. That means central banks throughout the world have trillions, not billions, trillions of dollars sitting in their bank because that's what a reserve currency means. The banks of the world were supposed to hold dollars instead of gold in their banks. So it, I hope I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Very much. If they adopt a gold-backed crypto, the U.S. dollar is toast, if I'm right. So again, we don't make any recommendations. Just be aware, it's August 22nd, 2023. Be aware of that date, Johannesburg, South Africa. And one more thing is that one of the challenges with Bitcoin is, is people don't accept it. They don't know what it means. But Standard Charter Bank, which is a huge Asian bank, just came out backing up Bitcoin. And they said that Bitcoin in 2023 will hit 50,000 bucks. This is Standard Charter Bank. It's not Robert Kiyosaki or, you know, Joe Schmo, the ragman out there. So this is Standard Charter Bank. So today it's 30K. Not only that is Standard Charter says that Bitcoin will be 120K from 30K in 2024. So I'm not saying it's gonna happen, we make no recommendations. 
were just educational. Our guests today are Charlie Engler and Miguel Munoz. Their, their uh, program is called Crypto Mindset, and they educate people like me who need to be educated more on crypto so you can make a more logical you know, as, assumption of what's going on. So uh, first of all, uh, Charlie, how much does it, you guys charge for your courses, Crypto Mindset? Yeah, so we do the course once every three months on average, um, and it's nine ninety seven dollars uh, one-time fee. If you do pay in cryptocurrency, either Bitcoin or Ethereum, you get a 15% discount. Uh, so it's about $850 uh, per quarter. And how long does it last? It's about two full weeks um, where every day from 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, of course, with some break days in between, uh, we do uh, about a two hour uh, stream, live stream through Zoom, um, where we teach you uh, a new subject for each of those webinars. We do 15 live and five pre recorded. And um, the five pre recorded to help uh, the beginners kind of get up to speed so that when we do start the course, everybody's uh, on the same page. Yeah, thank you. So, Miguel Munoz, anything you want to add to what, what do you guys teach them? More importantly, why should a man, woman, or other person? be interested in taking the course? Well, it's basically you learn, I mean, it's the freest money on this planet, how it is now. I mean, this is the one of the most beautiful thing. I mean, the reason we have Bitcoin and Ethereum as kind of like the two crown jewels of what we're teaching in the crypto mindset courses is that you can send a very, you can send large amounts of money or small amounts of money to anyone around the world with relatively short amount of time without anyone, no one could stop that from happening. If you want to send your mom a million dollars in USDC, I could send it in 13 seconds. I could send with Bitcoin in 10 minutes. But this is kind of like the, the most beautiful things about this, about cryptocurrencies is that, you know, even if the government doesn't like it, they can't, there's nothing they can do to stop it. That's, and that's that power. And that's kind of like Pandora's box has been opened and kind of why we truly believe that these the, the gold backs brings, even though if they keep that a currency open for a long time, let's just say 10, 20 years, then maybe at that point people will trust it. But initially it's going to have very low trust. It's probably only going to be used maybe between countries to actually trade. But in terms of regular, like, you know, civilian use, they're probably not going to use it very much because I would, I would imagine that they're not going to allow you to go to the bank, go with your app, go with your Apple app go to the bank and withdraw, you know, bullion, sil bullion silver or gold or anything like that out of the bank and stuff like that. So one other thing that we teach in the course is we teach two hours on a subject. And then from there, we usually have a one to two hour live AMA along with the course as well. So we're usually on average teaching about four hours in the morning, four hours at night, about eight hours of content that's all recorded. And uh, if things get spicy, we also have a pretty big uh, unrecorded part as well where people ask us a lot of other questions that we can't really ask they, uh, on air basically. Well, you guys are dedicated to your craft. And again, once again, I got to say it, we don't make any recommendations at Rich Dead. We just tell you what I do and what these guys do. So the, uh, the other question I have is this, at $30,000 a coin today, this is uh, August, no, July, 2023, how does a person with only five or let's say $1,000 buy Bitcoin? Do they have to buy the whole coin? No, you can you can definitely buy fractions of a coin, and uh, depending on where you're buying it, right? Is, there's some places with higher fees, some places that are easier than others. Um, but one thing that me and Miguel often recommend is Cash App is one of the easiest ways and fastest ways uh, to get in the game. I think within 24 to 48 hours, if you sign up for Cash App, you can buy Bitcoin. Um, Miguel, what is it up to uh, at least a dollar? Yeah, like a dollar. You could buy a dollar's worth, five dollars worth, very low fees and stuff like that. But that's kind of a place to start with. Then once they end up are kind of kind of used to kind of the fluctuations of Bitcoin, then they can open up a Coinbase app, a Gemini or a Kraken. These are the kind of the three main exchanges uh, for U.S. customers as well as a lot of international customers as well. Coinbase. And so is you guys help them market. out doing that. Yes. So, well, with the uh, yeah. pre-recorded webinars. We basically say, hey, here's the fastest way, you know, because there's uh, usually about a two week period if you sign up for Coinbase, Gemini, Kraken, these types of exchanges to connect them to your bank and everything. Um, you have to do KYC these days um, is really heavy from uh, the U.S. Uh, side. So um, Cash App is one of the fastest ways. We usually get people in there quick and then um, kind of help them along the way. If that makes so sense. I have, I have 60 coins. Would you help me move my coins? 
Yeah. No problem. Yeah. We, we get them to cold storage if you don't have them there already. Yeah. And that, and, and that's the big thing that we teach there is that there's kind of, you start off with these centralized entities, you know, you have to, you have to onboard money with Coinbase or Kraken or Gemini, but from there, we teach people to actually how to take custody of their coins in the like it's like physical it's it's actually taking custody physically but in a digital sense basically which is the kind of the the bridge that a lot of people from the traditional space aren't getting and then we kind of teach them to learn that so once you control these coins okay they're yours they can't be they can't so be copied it or anything purely bitcoin or ethereum or do you use other kinds of doge coins and stuff so yeah we, we're, well, we're what we call coin agnostic which means We'll make money with anything in crypto because we do understand the market very well. Um, but we want to, the way that I came up with my name, Cultivate Crypto, is we want to compound mainly Bitcoin and Ethereum. So okay. Bitcoin and Ethereum are the majority of the portfolio. Anything else in the portfolio is basically a short term trade or a, uh, you know, we do do, you know, like scratcher tickets, we would call them, you know, with stuff like meme coins. You know, Elon Musk out there definitely has some. Uh, you know, times where people like him talk about assets or, or I would say tokens in crypto that are more like Chuck E. Cheese tokens than necessarily assets like Bitcoin. And so we want to consolidate any profits from that all the way into Bitcoin and Ethereum. But we do have a concept that Miguel uh, often preaches called a moon bag, which means even if you did buy something and let's say you did a 3x on it and you took two thirds of it back into Bitcoin and Ethereum, so you doubled your Bitcoin and Ethereum, but you have a third of this coin for free. Can you, uh, we would keep a moon bag because that coin could go up in more value in the future as well. Okay, well, you guys, you guys are over the, over the head of my listeners, from, namely me. So once again, I cannot endorse crypto mindset. I'm just letting, allowing them the time to speak to you and please check them out for, your, for yourself. The other thing is you have a bunch of old guys who are now either against or for you, like Peter Schiff finally uh, caved in and he went, he joined you joined the Bitcoin revolution, but you have guys like Nora Rubini who are saying the CBDC, the central bank digital currency, will put out Bitcoin. What do you, what do you have to say to Nora Rubini? Yeah, I would, I would say Nora Rubini, um, he's been about against Bitcoin since the beginning. He says, you know, it's a Ponzi scheme, all that thing. He thinks the US dollar is better. The thing that I would tell him is clearly crypto has a better way of working with community. Um, than necessarily uh, countries do with their own currency. I look at Dogecoin. The only reason why Dogecoin is outpacing the dollar is because it has community, because people actually believe in it. Right. And um, with the US dollar and central bank digital currencies, um, people will be forced to use them, but people won't actually get behind them. So you guys, you guys will, you guys will help no, your students I'm... get understand what you guys just said, because I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> but that's but that's the we reason. translate. Yes. Yeah, it's like like with something like Dogecoin. I'm not endorsing Dogecoin, right? I do endorse, you know, I do endorse, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum and some other cryptocurrencies, but not Dogecoin. But even a joke coin, a jo and I say joke coin, meme coin like Dogecoin, was fractions of pennies years ago, and today it's not worth pennies. At the top, it was worth 81 cents. So a joke coin was was almost worth more than a dollar. Can you believe it? I mean, that's that's how that's how much they've drove they've driven the dollar down to nothing, basically. Where a joke coin can basically be. Yeah, I have, I have no idea what you're talking about, you guys. So just understand that. Sure. That's that's I think that's yes, the yes. challenge you have, <clears throat> and you have old guys like Chef and myself. You know, we're gold guys. And, yeah. Uh, I, I like my gold. I mean, I love my gold because I can see, touch, and feel it. And I, I don't, you know, I I own oil wells. <clears throat> I don't oil and oil stock. I have real cattle. I don't have cattle futures. You know, I'm pretty much old school if I can see, touch, and feel it. So that's why what you guys are offering guys like me who are still in the dark ages, an opportunity to understand what's going on, what's coming down the road, and how, how not to get burned. And we'll be right back. Robert recently tweeted that we're in the biggest bubble in world history, and may God have mercy on us all. After two of the largest U.S. banks collapsed in March, many believe a widespread banking crisis is coming. For years, Robert warned us to invest in real assets like gold, silver, and Bitcoin for protection against financial storms like the one we're experiencing. Today, brilliant investors are adding to his list by investing in the $1.2 trillion diamond market 
with the world's first and only regulator-approved diamond commodity. Each diamond standard coin contains a mathematically identical value of ethically sourced diamonds with a unique electronic signature so it can be traded instantly. Forbes says that the diamond standard coin inherits the best features of gold and Bitcoin. And when diamond standard eventually offers an ETF, diamond prices could rise 300 to 500 percent, just like they did with gold. The Financial Times says diamonds are worth more than silver, platinum, palladium, and rhodium combined. It's a neglected resource that investors couldn't touch as each diamond is different until now. And just like Robert says, there is gold everywhere. Most people are not trained to see it. See this brilliant investment at buydiamondstandard.com. That's buydiamondstandard.com. Welcome back, Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich, Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. All of our programs are archived. We archive them for one main reason. We're purely educational. We make no recommendations. I'll tell you what I do. But we, we archive them so you can go to richdadradio.com, pull this show up, listen to it again, because repetition is how you learn, but also discuss with your friends and family about what's happening in this subject called Bitcoin. Because like it or not, the biggest problem is not Bitcoin. The biggest problem is the U.S. dollar. And like I said, back in 1944, it became the reserve currency of the world, which means it was good as gold. And today the BRICS nations are ganging up against the dollar. So that's August 22nd, 2023, Johannesburg, South Africa. One of the biggest events in world history is taking place. And 99% of the people who have no idea what real money is, they're saving dollars, they're working hard for it, and good as money in the bank and all this, and they're getting ripped off. But they sit there, oh yeah, yeah, I have a college degree. Yeah, I, I have a lot in savings, and your savings are being ripped to shreds due to a system that was designed to make the rich richer. And that's why Rich Dad was invented, basically to protect people from the banking system. So I'll ask Miguel, name one way you can get screwed with Bitcoin. How do people scam you? So typically, um, because the industry is still really young, people just go onto Twitter or they go onto Instagram or they go onto a Telegram group or a Discord. Hey, I need help. I can't find my Bitcoin in my wallet. And the, all these fake bots show up out of nowhere telling you, hey, um, I'm from MetaMask support. I'm from this this company support, Trust Wallet support. I'll help you out here. here um, Sadie, can you give me your passcodes and stuff and I will help you out? Sure. And then they steal your well, money. The, That's one. Well, the good thing is they can't Two. steal my money because I had no idea what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it, it's, it's this thing where like, this is one of the reasons why we've even made the course at all is just because there's no, there's really not a safe place to talk about it. And if you don't, if you're really brand new, you start asking these basic questions and there's algorithms out there and these bots that just, DM you or, you know, or going your social medias on your Instagram, say, yeah, I'll help you out. Oh, thank you. And it looks official and it's not. And then you can get ripped off basically. It's, it's just like if someone, you know, the, uh, we've we got a, um, a, you know, Prince of Nigeria needs just a thousand dollar loan and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get his kingdom back. Right. It's that, it's that level of, of dumb, but like to people, it's, it's the brand new grift. Right. But the number one way someone could like fail using Bitcoin or Ethereum is basically they forget their passwords. That's one thing is very just password management's bad with a lot of people or they they put it on an iCloud or a phone and that could get stolen. Um, passcodes should be written down in the physical world, just like your gold and silver physically and analog written down at some point made in metal, uh, preferably <laughs> um, over time and stuff. But that that's that's the important thing. It's like um, a lot of uh, a lot of Zoomers or even Boomers and stuff, right? All the generations they 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 love to put everything on the phone, and your phone can be hacked into. And that's one that's one thing that's like um, you know a good old analog is the way to go. So Charlie, in one way, way they can get ripped off via like, um, Bitcoin. Yeah. So um, another way, like it, it's always is human error, right? Um, another way is being too loud on social media about your cryptocurrency, exactly how much you hold and all that stuff. And then um, if somebody gets physical uh, access, let's say you have the best storage, which is a cold storage wallet, um, which essentially means you're physically 
um, holding your Bitcoin per se. Um, if somebody actually, somebody to basically take that would have to have physical access to your device. So um, it would be pretty hard to do that in the real world. Um, but there have been instances where people kind of, you know, put their location, all that stuff, and it just be people being stupid. Well, um, let, me, let me tell you a story. As a, my, one of my friends, we, we do these seminars all over the world. He stood up there and says, yes, I have gold and silver and I keep it at my house. Right. <laughs> You, you just invited every crook who lives nearby to come visit you. But anyway, gentlemen, you know, the, the name of the course is Crypto Mindset. Again, I can't speak for it because I've never done it, but I would strongly recommend education. And Rich makes again, makes no recommendations to buy, sell, or hold. And I can't speak for the, for the course, but it sounds better than I know now. And yeah. it, it, I think it's the wave of the future. And even if Peter Schiff can drink the Kool-Aid, so can I. But anyway, gentlemen, thank you very much. And then uh, good luck to you and keep teaching. Appreciate what you guys are doing. This podcast is a presentation of Rich Dad Media Network.